Hickok 45 here. You know, I have always wanted a high capacity assault rifle bolt gun. Look what I have. John and I made one. Actually, we didn't. This is a Mossberg MVP. Probably heard about it. You might. And uh, this is a what, 20 rounder. This would be more handy. This is what you're a 10 rounder or even a five, you know, whatever. It's what you would shoot most often. Okay. So I can leave my ears off now. Okay. And just take a couple of this and see how much uh, or if the suppressor changes the point of impact at all. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. Let's try these guys here close. Not too bad. Felt like shooting a 22. Yeah, 20. Oh, <laughs> I've been working on that trick for a long time. I finally perfected it. <laughs> no pot. <laughs> ah, nice little plinker, I'll have to say. Oh, let's try something here while we've got hot ammo in it. Uh, we've got some 12 ounces right together. John thinks if I shoot one of them, it'll blow the other one up. Let's show him he's wrong. See, John? I think I'll shoot it on the ground. <laughs> I don't know. It might have had a hole in it. It seemed to blow up. All right, let's go back over there and hit one of those plates more quietly. Oh, yeah, you can hear the steel a little bit louder. <laughs> yeah, suppressor makes it more interesting sometimes. I don't think it's changed the point of impact. Move right on. It generally doesn't on a rig like this. Sometimes on a handgun you get some weird things happening. I'll shoot that propane tank there. Boom, yeah, you can hear the propane in there a little bit better, couldn't you? Let's see what, it, well, let's save that one. Uh, there's another pot there that needs smoking. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I blew that thing. I wonder if that's because I hit it on the bottom or... Yeah, weird things happen. Cool. And we still have ammo, so that's the thing, a 20 round for a, a bolt gun. Yeah, I think it's sufficient probably. Uh, you don't want a giant stick mag in your way. Especially with a bolt gun, you might be lying down. You might be lying down, or you could be shooting from the prone position, right? So, uh, you know, how that goes. Let's take it over here, and uh, I happen to have a magazine of some uh, subsonic ammo. Now, this stuff, I have shot some of it, and it's uh, 75 grain ammo. And remember what the twist I told you? It's a one and nine twist. So apparently it doesn't stabilize the, the bullet really well. Because I don't think it's the uh, suppressor making that much difference. But it does change the point of impact. It also changes the sound level. Or I'll show you. Let's, be, let's hit this uh, two liter right here. We might get an interesting sound that we don't normally get. Or at least one you can hear. <laughs> cool. That's pretty quiet, huh? And uh, these are so light, I really should be able to shoot the uh, little steel. About like a 22 Magnum. Yeah. See? Can't do that with uh, a <laughs> regular 5.56. I'm going to hold right in the middle of the cowboy. See what our point of impact looks like. Not too bad, maybe. I was having trouble across the hill with them, though. Uh, let's try the uh, plate. Yeah, I think it was just low. I'm going to hold up a little more. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we can shoot the gong with one of these. There we go. That's always fun. <laughs> you know, I've said before, uh, whenever we have a suppressor and we have 5.56, five, yeah, there's a swarm of comments. Oh, why well, won't you get some subsonic ammo? If you don't, why have a suppressor if you're not shooting subsonic, subsonic ammo? Why can't you talk here, cock? Why do you have a suppressor and you're shooting regular ammo? You need subsonic ammo. There's no need for it, right? Well, I've never been in combat. I don't know all there is to know about all that, but I do know what I've read and been told 
it doesn't suppress it uh, totally. The, the purpose is not to quiet it down entirely. If you can reduce the, the signature report from the round, you know, then the enemy can't tell as easily where that came from. Okay, if you can just reduce the decibels, you know, down in half or something, you know, it's really valuable. Plus, you saw I was standing here shooting regular 5.56 without ears on. Okay, so, so there's advantages beyond just trying to totally quiet something down, you know, with a suppressor. Most of you know that. And then again, uh, with subsonic, truly subsonic 5.56-223 ammo, look what you're doing you're cranking that thing down from over 3,000 feet per second to maybe 900 or something or a thousand feet per second 800 so you're getting down into 22 long rifle category before too long aren't you so around i think around 22 magnum you know uh, ballistics you know with this we're shooting so so you turn a uh fairly powerful you know 556 five, uh it has its critics but it's got, got a little uh onto it you know 556 five, round does it's going very fast whatever you want to say about it but when you crank it down that far then uh you're really losing a lot of the effectiveness of it of course right okay this little i'm not going to charge you for that little extra lesson half of it was probably incorrect anyway so i wouldn't dare charge you let's see oh let's shoot that propane tank over there <laughs> boy did i miss that john <laughs> I guess I did. It would have sounded like that. Okay, well, it's a small tank. It's only about two feet in diameter. Oh, well. Got to miss occasionally. Or else you'll think I'm not human, right? Did anybody in the audience actually think I was human? My wife doesn't think I'm human. John doesn't think I'm human. Let's shoot one of these. Uh, should I do that? Yeah, it won't hurt it, I don't think. One of these plates up here. <laughs> Again, it's about 22 Magnum, uh, so uh, pretty cool. We'll shoot a couple more times, maybe. We don't want to wear you out with it. Uh, th these are handy rifles. Uh, you don't know what else to say about it. It's, it's just, uh, it is what it is. It's not pretty. Uh, they run around 700, a little bit over 700, I think, MSRP. So they're not extremely cheap or anything, but it, you know, it is a centerfire rifle. But uh, you know what uh, rifles go for these days. So uh, it's a functional firearm that you could uh, throw in your trunk, throw in the truck, not worry about getting it beat up necessarily. And then Mossberg has got a pretty good reputation. You know, they're not uh, you know, some of the high-end guns out there, but they have a good reputation for accuracy, uh, as much accuracy as you'd probably need, and uh, functional accuracy. And especially in a bolt gun, you get added, I think generally it's, it's it's considered that with a bolt gun you're enhancing the chances of getting good accuracy no matter what kind of you know firearm you have uh, that's one reason it's such a popular format for hunting and and has been for so long even military right back in the day and still you know as a sniper rifle so let's uh that's going to be pretty hot so i don't think i'll take it off let's just change out the subsonic ammo the, the, the one thing i don't like the negative thing uh, for sure is the mag release there you, you start thinking you've got a 1022 here again you've got an empty case in there uh you know safety's in a pretty good spot no problem there bolt comes out just fine uh yeah. seems to lock up okay you know uh you know somebody probably has tested it at 500 yards you know, on sandbags or something I, from what my reading they're saying they're getting decent accuracy out of it uh not not the best in the world but you know decent accuracy and uh and it holds up you know so i don't know you may judge you may have one if you have a, a comment about yours your own experience with one uh please share that okay one issue with the the fiber optic was wanting to come out of the the sight there a little bit kept coming forward sliding out which is kind of typical so i think uh, my cigar lighter took care of that uh, <laughs> a little heat there so pretty cool pretty cool let's just put uh, a couple of normal rounds through it i won't have to put my ears back on a couple more shots and we get to suffer and everything and i'll get that later i do pick those up folks we just don't go scrounging around during the video for things we drop okay i mean we're professional right 
we are professional. <laughs> that's, uh, that's my best joke all day, right? Okay, so got the suppressor on. I keep wanting to put it in, you notice that? I was trying to put it in there like an AK mag. Just go straight up. Okay. All right, let's get that tank again. Yeah. Now these go right through it. To give you an idea, uh, John shot that white propane tank with the subsonic ammo. I should have mentioned that before when I was giving you that little lecture uh, about subsonic ammo, and it didn't go through it. it. It just bounced off, put a dent in it. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, more civilized shooting when you have a suppressor. Pretty cool. Now let's hit that propane tank over there. You can hear it, but it's not quite the same as it is with suppression. Suppression. Okay, I can't shoot much here since I have this guy. Here's a tank of some kind or can. I'll stall can. <laughs> One more shot. Yeah, we'll end on a hit. How's that? So we've got an empty round in the chamber. And uh, yeah, it's not really an assault, right? It was all joking, of course, assault rifle. Assault is an action. It's not an object, right? Just like kindness, it's an action. Uh, but I couldn't resist the joke because it, it still strikes me as weird. How did that look? Yeah, with a long mag in it and a uh, you know, suppressor, it, it, uh, it does take on an interesting look, doesn't it? Because it's, uh, it's just a bolt gun. So interesting gun, uh, you might wonder why you would ever want one like this, uh, I might too. But you know, it is what it is, it's a Mossberg, it's not extremely expensive, and it's a you know, pretty versatile little gun. You could knock around, kick it around, wouldn't have to, to worry about the finish on it, would you? Anyway, the Mossberg MVP, glad to get a chance to, to take a shot with it. Many of you have requested uh, uh, us to get one. Life is good.